Hi friends, Shannon here. Welcome to another of my art adventures. Today we are headed to the Red Ridge Ranch in Mauston, Wisconsin. Outdoor painters always have to deal with the elements. It's not a sterile environment like a studio. It can be a challenge, but it's also part of the fun of painting on plein air. But today I'm contending with the flies. You might see them flitting about my painting. I am committed to continue encouraging you to get you outdoors painting or drawing. And I'm going to give you a few tips to take with you on your own art adventure. I'm using golden open acrylics. I really love these acrylics. They're rich and smooth. They're made for painting on plein air. They're slow drying, which is great for painting outdoors. Once often the acrylics seem to dry almost before they hit the canvas. Also, these acrylics are more similar to oil painting, which personally I'm more comfortable with. After toning my canvas, I begin by painting in just the darks and lights, leaving the canvas value as a mid-tone, so essentially ending with three values. Having good value, nice contrast, and a well-thought-out pattern of light will enhance your finished product, so you might enjoy starting with this step also. This method can keep your finished product from being bland. It's a very traditional way of painting. My son and his girlfriend are riding horses. I love to ride, but I just had surgery. Guess what? Painting is great for surgery recovery. So not horseback riding today, but the next best thing. Next, I will block in just five values, ranging from the darkest darks to the lightest lights. You will see that they are still kind of chunked in and not too detailed. Once I start adding color, I will match the value of the hues to this underpainting. As a traditional oil painter, I use this method in my studio, but at a much slower pace, taking weeks and months instead of minutes. So outside, I'm sort of doing an abbreviated version. I will finish up the detailing of my horse painting in the studio. I hope you will get a thrill out of the experience of painting outdoors and have your finished piece as a reminder of the fun you had. Please share your stories in the comments if you've painted or sketched outdoors. I think we would all love to read about your experiences. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you'll tune in again next time. Have a fantastic day.